start with patience. Because for me, and I don't know about you, patience is like, is critical, especially like a lot for a lot of young people. Just people are just, they're just impatient, yeah. right? I know, but it's a hard thing, isn't it? As yeah. I'm also, um, and I know you are as well, action oriented people. Yeah. And so patience, don't they say patience is a virtue, but patience is a challenge because you're working hard and you want things to happen. But if you don't take a pause and be patient, you'll kind of steamroll things that you need to take care of and, and not wait for things to happen too. So I think it's really, it's a mindfulness practice, really. It's tough. It's also for a lot of young people I speak to, and uh, maybe this is because of, uh, of social media and you see all of these like rock star tech entrepreneurs mm -hmm. making billions by the time they're 25 or whatever. Um, but hey, like 20 and 30 is super young, by the way. It is. It is. Well, you know what I think? It's I think sometimes you think someone you look at someone, particularly in the media and you go, oh, gosh, they have it all together. It just happened for them like this. And really the behind the scenes is you know all the work that happened to get there and so i always say don't discount everything that you do even if it doesn't instantaneously lead to what you think it will it's all the moving parts together and yeah. that does take time and it takes patience and i would say someone who's you know the facade of success probably wasn't instantaneous it was years and months and days and failures and everything in between. Oh yeah, nothing meaningful was built overnight. Yeah. I mean, it might look like it from some people's personas, but for me, I've just done, I've just started my 11th year in business. I know, congratulations. Thank you. It's taken time. I mean, you know, it's not been all like poached eggs on toast and coffee at the roof of a private members club somewhere in London or America, you know, like it's hard grind patience, lots of ups and downs, the line's never straight, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's always. I agree. Yeah, I would say it's a curvy road. I mean, what's the thing you found I, for patience? Where have you found, I mean, that, ah, I would say there's a trigger when I know that I need to be more patient. Like I get a little anxious and then I have to self-talk myself and say, it's okay, you're doing everything you need to be doing. Just yeah. take a deep breath and take a little bit of time. Do you find yeah. you have to do that too to yourself? Do you do you get a trigger? Yeah, I just with what I do, and, and also just because of the like the plans I have in my mind and like the where I see myself going, becoming, things like that. Um, I'm just impatient to get there. Like I'm building the best exec search team on the planet. Mm -hmm. And it takes a bit of time to get there, you know, but it's all it's all step by step. You know, it's building, for me, it's building a good culture, behaving in the right way, you know, getting good, getting good work, delivering, you know, giving a five star yeah. service, all of the little bits of the yeah. things that go into like building an amazing exec search firm. It requires patience, you know, you don't always win the search. Um, you know, it doesn't always go perfect. You know, you have to accept that things don't always go the way you want them to go and that requires a lot of patience or you get frustrated by people and you've got to be patient and then this last year i mean you know let me tell you i mean there's some amazing things that have happened some challenging things the learning experience has been crazy but i think also patience you know like just being patient and seeing how things unfold and develop has been like that's good learning for me. Yeah, it, you know, it's. I think I always ask myself that too, because like, what can we learn from this? Whatever it is, whether you know that pause and that patience in like failure or pandemic or um, I, I I hurt my shoulder and I thought as you know, it that takes patience because you, when you can't do what you need to do, um, if you don't have patience, it's just going to lead to sort of a scatter, it's, and you're just going to mess it up. So if yeah. you take a step back, take a deep breath, realize that you've been doing everything you need to do, or you're not doing something, or you've failed and you've got to try something, like you said, a nonlinear, a different way, um, 
that, yeah. that patience can be, it's a, it can be in your toolbox really valuable. Yeah, but it does take some learning. Like I spoke to my, I think I told this story the other day, my friend of mine's brother, and my friend asked me to speak to his brother. Mm-hmm. And uh, he started like, I think it started like seven, eight months ago in this company, but he wanted to leave already. So I had a chat and I'm like, you know, what's going on? And he said, look, you know, I should be on the board. I'm not being valued. You know, they're not taking my ideas and running with them. And, you know, all of this kind of stuff. And I, I had to say to him, look, take a breath. You know, you are, he was like 22. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you're going to be working until, I mean, there's no retirement age in the long UK. Mm-hmm. A long, a long, long time. There's a book called The 100 Year Working Life or something. I mean, we could be even working that long. Just, you know, be patient. Soak up stuff. You've got to... You've got to build, you know, you're not going to be the star quarterback or the star striker or whatever overnight. You've got to build up the experience. You know, it's funny because I always think back to when I was 22, that patience kind of can sound like a bad word, like have patience. But but I think I but I think it's like you said, it's about I mean, I felt it too or other, you know, why don't I have this? Why don't I have the perfect job? And it's like, well, you need the time. So it's all about. Like the hard work is part of the process and, and, you know, there are not, you know, there's not sort of things that fall down from the sky. You have to actually do the work, take the time and kind of use that energetic frustration to make yourself take action and do things and not just wish something to come your way, Yeah, which is patience. It's true. And it doesn't mean you're not ambitious, by the way. No, you know, because some people, you know, it could be confused a little like being you can be patient, but just crazy ambitious, right? As well, so I don't think you know you, you can have both for sure because some people confuse it, you know, with yeah, you have it, I have it, right? You can yeah. be very ambitious, but also be patient, and then also be frustrated and remind yourself to be patient, <laughs> yeah. And I've not always been patient, I mean. You just haven't. But it's interesting in my in my industry. I know you used to be an exec search as well. Yeah. You know, I'm when you're when you're 22, you're unlikely to to get the CEO search for Apple. You know, like it takes a bit of time to like build up this experience. You age with your network. Yeah. You build up this business and world experience. So you've got to be patient in that regard for, for certain things. Well, and too, and when you talk about recruiting, I mean, having done that for a really long time myself, um, the game is patience. (laughs) The game is patience sometimes because you talk to somebody and they don't want to move at this time, but then you keep in touch. And I had people, um, you know, because of I because of building relationships and being patient and being a value add. There were times in the future where they called me and if yeah. I hadn't been patient and built that relationship, which you could, of course you can apply to any job, any work scenario, then I wouldn't have made the deal later on. So That's it. you had things that are certainly, some things are immediate and some things you have to take time and build those relationships and that, and that takes the patience and, and I will say, it's like I said, recruiting, if we're talking about recruiting, it is all about that combination of being quite proactive and patient. Yes, I love that. It's so true. You know, investing in making friends, mm-hmm. stuff that might not pay back straight away, but, you know, it's an investment into your future almost. You're going you're gonna to get the work from some this, this person because you've your approach has been trying to make friends with them rather than... Uh, a short-term sell. Exactly. So yeah, speak. build relationships. And I think also not everything is going to lead to something, but yes. that's still, it's sort of part of the process. Yeah. You know, well, look, just, my, yeah. I, it's true. My, 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 just my last point on business development yeah. is that there's this business development triangle uh, and something like 98% of people you meet or speak to aren't looking to buy from you right now for a million different yeah. reasons. 2% are, and it's about... Once you appreciate that, it's just, you know, constant, non-salesy, non-aggressive contact with people, making friends, and all of this stuff starts to happen, whether in it's whether it's in recruitment or any other yeah. type of field. I think that's the that's, way. It's yeah, going. it's it's classic networking, right? Yeah. It's 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 always it's said so often, but enjoy the process, enjoy the journey, and stuff will happen. <laughs>